there's a great world out there of new understandings for you. So I'm saying the summer, the next couple of months, do your meditations. Keep focused on, on what you really want, what's really important to you. Yes, we have to have a job. Yes, we have to pay our bills. Yes, we have to have a car to drive to get someplace. Those are all the little things. But the big thing, going to God, all those things are added to you. You'll be surprised how you'll get a wonderful new idea about how to take care of a situation. And it turns out to be exactly what you need to do. And most of my ideas that have come to me have not made sense to the logical mind. But I've gone and done them, and they did work. But you have to have a certain amount of trust in your intuition, too. Because you have to build that up, you have to understand it, because, you know, if you just say, oh, well, I'm just going to throw everything to the wind, you have to have that intuitive knowingness that, yes, I can let go of this, and yet I'm going to walk into the next. Because God has a plan for you. God in you has a plan in you. As I was mentioning, God becomes man. Man becomes God. When you understand that at the fourth dimensional level, you understand God is man. Man is God. How do you make that adjustment in your consciousness? The personality can't do that one. In fact, the personality was really screwed up. But no, God in you is joining with the God and you are becoming more of who you are. So continue your meditating the next couple months. Be diligent with your desires. Watch what you're thinking about. And know that whatever is happening in your life is happening to help you grow into something new. Everything is here to help you to grow. And if you will take those unpleasant situations and say, okay, God, why is this happening to me? Generally, I want to say for myself, I found out that why these things that I was not happy about happened to me was I brought them from a past life. I brought them in from a past life. And it's been many times a job or a situation or something that I had to deal with that was very unpleasant, but that came because I owed it to that person or owed it to myself to understand more about myself. So when you have these difficult moments, embrace them instead of fight them and say, okay, why are you here? I don't like you very well, but why are you here? You must have a purpose. And help me, God, to look at it, and look at it not from my personality self, but from my soul. What's my soul going to gain from this crappy situation in my life? Doesn't seem like it's going to do much, but I'm going to look at it and say, what is it? What do I need to do? And you know what? Every time I surrendered it to God and said, give me a divine idea on how to handle this, something came to me to handle it, and I knew what I needed to do to overcome this part of myself that was resisting. You have it in yourself, you see. I'm no different than you. You have it in yourself to make these adjustments. You're not alone. You are not alone in anything you're doing. Trust this inner self of yours. You will have had this inner self forever. It's been with you for lifetimes. Your soul has evolved with you all this time. You know yourself well. You know yourself well. And so support yourself for the next few months. Do what's yours to do. Make a dedication to yourself that you will do something every single day to help yourself grow, whatever it is. And I gave you some handouts that you might be looking at because how to dissolve your emotional pain. There's ways of handling all this. All this stuff that I give you, I give you because 
It worked for me when I got stuck. It worked for me. And I want, I know it works, so I hand it to you and say, listen, you don't have to figure out what to do with it. There it is. This is how to dissolve emotional pain. This is how the questions to ask to help yourself to move more quickly through a, a situation, good, bad, or indifferent. It doesn't matter. It just simply is. And we need to allow ourselves to experience whatever we need to experience and then move on. Experience whatever you need to experience and move on. Don't carry it with you. Because if you carry it with you, the first thing that's going to happen is that it's going to overtake you. It's going to get bigger than you and you're going to have to deal with it all over again. And I'll tell you, once I realized that, I thought, oh man, I don't want to carry this anymore. I need to do what I need to do, get rid of it, and go on. Clear, clear the air, clear the situation out, and move forward. Because there is a wonderful fourth dimension. And you've heard me talk about this many, many, many times. And it's a slow process. It's a slow movement into this other dimension because it's so different. It isn't like anything you've ever lived before. So you need to be kind to yourself and love yourself through this process. Don't hit yourself up in the head when you make a mistake. Just use it to take a step. Use it to benefit your soul. You know, we have to support the soul in its evolution. It's our responsibility. Nobody else can do it for you. I can't do it for you. I might be able to give you some tools. I might be able to say this is maybe the way you could handle it, see if it works for you. But I can't do it for you. Nobody can do it for me. I certainly wanted somebody else to do it for me. I begged to find someone to take care of me. Please, God, can't you send me a great teacher or somebody that will just bless me and I'll be free? <laughs> didn't happen because I had to learn it myself. It's like if I said to you, oh, you're a great mathematician. I'm going to tap you on the head and you are going to, to be able to, to uh, do equations. And you say, oh, that sounds interesting. Tap that on the head. Okay, you can do it. Quick. But what's one and one is what? I've never learned one and one is two, two and two is four. I've never learned that thing and now I can do, I don't understand how I can do an equation. So God, if you left me, I wouldn't know how to do this, or I don't mean God left me, but wonder if this leaves me. See, then the fear comes. You see, the fear comes because you don't know if it leaves you, will you be able to do equations? But if you've learned one and one is two, math, all the things that you need to learn, then you know how to do the equations. And then nobody can take that away from you. But if it's something that just happens and you don't know how it happened, then you're going to be worried that someday it will be taken away from you. And if you're worried that something is going to be taken away, you don't own it. You've got to own it. You've got to own it. And so that's why the process is like it is. That's why it's a little difficult sometimes to, to, to learn all these things. But the thing is that you know what you know that you know it. It's not magic. And then we'll be here tomorrow. We'll be here the next day. How did I do that? I don't know how I did it. No, we need to know how we evolved to the state we evolved to. Then we own it. So I really support you the next couple months in supporting your soul and owning that which is who you are. Owning it.